I, I really can't understand these players who, again, as you said, signed a, 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 an extension last year. He's contract for what, another five years or whatever. We saw how brilliant he was last year. And then he's coming up with all that nonsense on the eve of a big, big game. If I, if I was one of his, if I was a teammate of his, I'd kick him up and down the training pitch. I just, you just, some of the senior players have got to get hold of him. A talented, talented boy, but his attitude, even last night, he's like, he's like a, a spoiled child. He's just absolutely ridiculous. OK, you said the job was done the first game, but still, watching the game was torture. There's still responsibility <laughs> on the players to go out and perform. And when they're in that mood, Man City are, you know, I wouldn't watch them if they were playing in my back garden. As I said, it was torture. Really poor attitude. Uh, you should have a desire to still try and go and win a game of football yeah. because the opposition were really poor. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not saying you go and leave yourself open. Go, go and win the game. They, they were poor. And this idea that Man City could go on and win the tournament, they're all in cuckoo land. And uh, yeah, they're doing well. A good result from. I think it's in their own hands. Uh, this idea that they can win the Premiership, I think, no chance. But the no chance. They're the only unbeaten team at the moment. I don't care. No, I can't see them winning that Premiership. No. But uh, progressing really well as a football club. It's now getting their hands on a trophy. But what, with a trophy, I mean FA Cup or the League Cup. This time tomorrow, England going to be in the semi-finals? I don't think so. No. Oh, cheers, Roy. You knew where Mrs. Carrasco was. That's for sure. I hope it is his Mrs. Well. <laughs> Well, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> but, Roy, England need to win this group, and so they need to win well No, tonight, Aaron, they need to win the game. They don't get carried away. They need to win the okay, game of football. But if we come the, second, the table... they will play Spain, and that's a worry, yeah, but if they it, the they, Yeah, but, hey, listen, the, the Italian game will be a tough game. If they beat Italy, then they've got Germany. So, you know, relax yourself. They've got to try and win the game of football, <laughs> first and foremost. And the table will take care of itself. Yeah. Everyone says that in football, whether it be league matches or international matches. Try and win your game of football, and then the league table will take care of the itself. Only, the only thing is... In the past, finishing second has been costly for us. You know, in South Africa, we had to go Germany. Had we beaten Germany, it was Spain. If we beaten Spain, it was Argentina. So, it, if you don't finish top of the group, it, it leaves you a more difficult task. But, but if you don't win the game of football, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you've got to win the game first. Matter. But Roy, surely you wouldn't want. I mean, if you were a manager, even the club football in a cup competition, would you want to play a top team? That I don't care. I just want to win the game of football, and the rest will take care of itself. Everyone's trying to get too clever. What if you have to play these teams? Yeah. To be honest, Spain aren't playing as brilliant as everyone says. So maybe you want to play Spain and avoid Germany in the semi-final. Who knows? Just, just win the game. Yeah, well, it was always going to be a good option uh, when United didn't know they qualified for the Champions League. He was available, fantastic CV, and um, seems like a good fit. Maybe not for me, he's not, he's not my kind of cup of tea. I find him really irritating when, when I've coached against him. But that's just a personal thing, you know. Good? Absolutely not. What a drama queen here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How about these tough defenders? You know, it's a game. I don't think What's there's any he doubt do? about it. It's just an he accident. Just him, but stand, get, but get back up. He lies down. He's well. on the floor like he's been <laughs> shot. Ridiculous. <laughs> they were very, very poor. And um, but I, I'm not surprised. I don't know what you were expecting. Did you think they'd go to Bayern Munich and get a result? We've said it before about we keep repeating ourselves: lack of leaders, lack of characters, hunger, desire. But I have to say, tonight at this level, at in this stage of the competition, they're just not good enough. So it's almost no point in being too critical of them because they're not up to it. <coughs> the players, they've got two decent players at Arsenal, the rest, average. Now he says he is happy playing on the right. Is, is this good form and all that maturity come from the fact that he's settled now in the position he's going to play? Well, it's, it's took him a while to get settled, hasn't it? You know, <laughs> ten he's, years he's, is quite a long time. Ten years at the club and, uh, listen, he's had a good week. The guy needs to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Try and play with for the next seven, eight, nine months when the yeah. real big crunch games yeah. come and you're on about looking at certain players for Arsenal and go, listen, tonight was a lovely game for Arsenal. When Arsenal are in that form and have that much possession, they're great to watch. They could have scored seven, eight, nine goals easily. Joy to watch. But the crunch games are coming up for them over the next few months when the cold nights come in and we'll see maybe half the Arsenal player with their gloves on. So I, I wouldn't be getting carried away with Walcock. He's got a lot to do. Lovely goals tonight. This simplicity, his movement, his finishing. Outstanding. But he's got to do it over the course of the next year or two. They all have to change their mentality. It's just nonsense from players speaking after the games about how great the supporters are. Listen, the supporters want to see the team do, doing a lot better and not giving daft goals away like that. So, no, listen, I'm, I'm not too happy with all that nonsense again. And praise the supporters for the sake of it. Listen, let's change that attitude towards Irish supporters as well. Listen, they want to see the team winning as well. Let's not kid ourselves. I know that we're a small country and, you listen, we're up against it, but let's not just go along for the sing-song every now and again. I think reflecting that when I see Gibbs with the captain's armband on at the end of the game, you're in big trouble. 
if he's your captain or your leader, if he's a guy that's going to bring everybody together, you're in huge trouble. And I agree with you. I, I don't think Bayern were at their very best tonight. They didn't have to be. The goals Arsenal gave away, schoolboy stuff, shambles. City, City would get through, no yeah. doubt about it. They've done the hard work away from home, and obviously you'd expect Arsenal to go out. So, uh, yeah, no surprises there. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, <laughs> no, you? no, I didn't mean it that way, the way it came <laughs> out. But, you know, after the first leg score, you don't expect them to get through, obviously. No. Certainly in great form at the moment, and uh, scoring for fun. Um, comfortable night from tonight. Uh, good start from, but their attacking players certainly enjoyed it. Um, but we you know, keep repeating ourselves, the big tests are yet to come for Liverpool. Clearly they're beating these so-called lesser teams, the same in the Premier League, but they've beaten nobody yet. In, domestically and in Europe, you yeah, feel? But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. They've had one... Yeah. Well, absolutely, I mean, they beat Arsenal back in August, but no, take the point, you're looking I mean, at the fixtures. Yeah. The, the <laughs> I was trying not to give you an open goal, just because it's Christmas, yeah. You expect good players to affect the game. He came on last night and done nothing. We saw with the goal... His reaction to it was like a schoolboy. He doesn't smell danger as soon as Valencia gives the ball away. Again, it's on the halfway line. The, the reason you're part of a team is that if one of your mates make a, makes a mistake, you cover for him, you make up for it. But no one is helping each other. Again, it's been mentioned before, they're, they're almost playing like individuals. They're not playing as a team. They're not playing like what we remember the great Man United teams. And that was, even on an off night, an off night you can grind the result out. This team doesn't seem capable of doing it. There's, there's a little, there's a, there's, a, there's a little bit of a link as well. Oh, look, that's the that's the way it goes shopping, now. You've yeah. been shopping with him, have you? <laughs> I didn't know you were mates. Pep. He's grown your beard as well. Yeah. Pep knows quality when he sees it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Boy, Key, did you ever shave your legs before playing football? No, no, but <laughs> <Afterwards>. maybe that's... <laughs> yeah. Listen, that's the modern player. Yeah. And then maybe he's into the cycling. I know the cy you, you shave your oh, legs. Yeah. Oh, I'm not getting cycling. my legs out now. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I've got, I've got an infection myself. But if that ever sums up modern-day football, isn't that a reason for missing a game? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and if it, obviously it is true, then surely they could have used a different excuse. Why yeah. put that out and embarrass the player like that? The players used to shave their legs when I, when I was playing anyway for strappings, but only to about shin high. So yeah. He's gone the full... Gone the full whatever the full word whatever. is, yeah. Roy, did you enjoy that? Um, not really, no. <laughs> 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 yes, you did. <laughs> you know, you're always thinking about the players and the dressing yes, room all no. this kind of bit of nonsense, but it is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> For a club, certainly the size of Liverpool and, and Tottenham, you know, one trophy in ten years is, um, I think, pretty embarrassing. Yeah, I know the Champions League has took over now, and particularly, I suppose, the, the money behind it. Um, but to be successful at a, the club you just mentioned is about getting your hands on trophies. Absolutely. Would you, would you trust him to do a job in there? No. <laughs> Not for me, no. Because? I just don't fancy him. <laughs> Not away from home. Again, at home, he's probably not bad, nice yeah. and comfortable. Away from home, different game. Far too many times. Um, I think the guy's a disgrace. And if he's a Man United player, I'm a Chinaman. Absolute disgrace. He's done it far too many times. Look at that. Absolute disgrace. And I just hope players are getting a hold of him. Never, you know, whether they've been a manager or some of the senior players, that shouldn't be accepted at Man United. That's absolutely disgraceful. Yeah, you know, what, what, you've, players have done it for several years, haven't they? You know, you, the old... Doesn't make leave, it right, though. No, doesn't, not saying it makes it right, but you leave your leg in, Trick. That's not leaving your leg in. That's, that's different, Dad. And he does what's that, what's that, then? And then when he does leave his leg in, what, the, part, the part of piece afterwards is the triple somersault he does. He's a disgrace. And what, what, you want the other, what do you want the other players to say to him? Get hold of him so you don't, you don't behave like that playing for Man United. As I said, he, he, could, he might maybe do it once or twice and make the mistakes, but he's done it nine or ten times, and he's done it at his previous clubs. We've run out of time, I can't say anything. <laughs> he said everything I was going to say. <laughs>